we're supposed to be this caring, compassionate, loving and healing profession until it's you. Physician, heal thyself. It's an old adage that in many ways has never been more timely. Studies show the rate of prescription drug abuse by doctors is higher than that of the general population by 500%. Tons of doctors, tons of nurses. It's huge. Sue is a nurse who got hooked on opiates and stayed hooked on opiates because she was able to steal drugs from the hospital where she worked. Taking two at a time turned into taking three at a time, turned into taking four. I was a mess. Eventually, Sue lost her nursing license, but found the assistance she needed to start a new career and a new life by getting help at InSynergy, a St. Louis-based drug and alcohol addiction program that specializes in personalized, medically-based, innovative treatment. I thought my life, my career, my family, everything was over. Jerry is an accomplished surgeon whose alcohol and drug dependence caused havoc in his personal life and his career. But thanks to InSynergy, Jerry was able to find a path to sobriety. There was a lot of shame and a lot of guilt that comes with it, especially in the medical field. We're held to a bit of a higher standard, rightfully so. You should have known better. Unpacking that guilt and shame was hard. Are medical professionals quicker to realize that they have a problem? We've seen medical professionals who feel that they can, um, you know, play around or experiment with, you know, with substances. And uh, a lot of times when they come in is when they're showing biological withdrawal symptoms. And, and at that point, they, they can't just walk away from it. it. It's become a medical situation. According to a study published in the Journal of Addiction Medicine, 69% of doctors reported they abused prescription medicine to relieve stress and physical or emotional pain. Individuals that struggle with addiction have one commonality, and it's that they wear their heart on their sleeves. Nurses, doctors, dentists, chiropractors, all of these other areas of medicine have the exact same quality. These individuals will sometimes turn to an unhealthy coping mechanism to deal with the vulnerability of that kind of exposed, hard on your sleeve feeling. Is part of the problem that medical people think I can control this because I, I understand medicine? When you have somebody who has a high status, like a like physician, come in and admit they have no control, it's eye-opening. Of course I knew better. Of course I knew better. It's just such a cunning, baffling, wicked, deceiving disease. And the one you're doing the most deceit and harm to is yourself. Having an addiction does not make a nurse a bad nurse. Having a alcohol problem does not make a doctor a bad doctor, as long as they're addressing that and getting well. Secrets make us sick. Honesty is one of the best antidotes for addiction. Stay honest. Just stay honest. For more information about InSynergy, including a no-obligation free individual assessment, go to InSynergySTL.com. Reporting for InSynergy, I'm Paul Shankman, StorySmart Video News.